thing to do is per performance profiling, so skill demands apply because obviously the players would have to have um, different abilities for what area they are in. So, if, say for example, Messi centre forward, he would have to have um, speed, control, and accuracy. So this would obviously be the tactical demands as well. So because he would have to have the control power to influence the, or direct the ball, accuracy, state of um, being correct and precise, and speed, the rate of which someone moves or is able to move. So for the control, Messi got scored at a nine because um, he was able to pass and influence the ball into difficult areas for Atletico to, to, to defend. So um, they were um, troubled by him as, they, as he got a nine. Um, but for his areas of improvement, he could try and get this up to a ten by maybe having power to take shots which are on target or um, get, making, maybe getting a three ball and getting it to, um, say, his um, teammates. So accuracy, um, he got scored an eight on this. This is maybe because um, he did not pass the ball into um, different areas. So like, if the, um, say the players wanted to progress up the pitch, and Messi was in a um, ability where he could maybe cross the ball or maybe um, shoot. He could um, either pass it to the player or shoot. So he'd have to maybe improve on this if he wanted to become. Well, he's a world class player, but for his overall status, become world class. So um, he would maybe have to take, um, do passing abilities or shooting skills so he could get his score to a 10 um, for, so obviously for and tactics as well this will obviously have to go up because um, the opposition may be anticipating what Messi does so he could pass it short to a player and they might run to the player to stop him passing so he'd obviously have to get his accuracy up before he plays again so speed um, Messi got a 10 on this one so strength obviously would be just because he's um, quick overall um, to get to the ball um, and succeed, but he doesn't have any um, area for improvement because his score is a 10. So, the second player I'm going to talk about is Mascherani, the centre back. So, his um, skill and tactical demands are that um, awareness, communication, passing. So, awareness, awareness is be conscious of events, objects, or sensory patterns. Communication, be able to quickly and accurately get the message across to teammates about what need to be doing. And passing, able to get the ball from player to player. So, um, for skill and, and uh, tactical use, in awareness, he got an eight. This was because he um, did make tackles, but on one occasion, he did not see there was a player coming towards him and he made a tackle at the last minute and that um, created a um, foul which obviously resulted in a free kick to the opposition. So he would have to be wary of his awareness so maybe um, do some games maybe, practice games so he could get his awareness back in and so that he knows what's happening in the play. So communication, I scored him an 8. This was because um, he did seem to make communication with the players, but at times he didn't communicate, he just sort of passed the ball around. So obviously this would be good for him, because he's obviously passing and again, he's, um, commun he's not communicating, so he's good, but he still needs to communicate with the players. So for passing, I scored him a 9 on this because 90% of the time he did pass the ball um, towards two his players, so on the same team, but 10% um, of the time he did pass the ball where it resulted in the opposition getting it either from um, interference, so like they um, anticipate what he's doing, or they, or he just um, maybe does a three ball and the opposition get it. So the last player I'm going to talk about is the goalkeeper Valdez. So. His skills and
tactical demands apply because he has to be agile, he has to have good communication, he has, and he has to be good at positioning. So agility, moving around in difficult positions quickly, obviously. Communication, be able to talk to players for tactical positioning, and positioning being in the right position to be able to defect or catch the ball. So for agility, I've scored him a 9. This was because he did uh, move around to get into the positions where he needed to be. So if the opposition was to take a shot, he'd be able to save it. But on a couple of times, there was one occasion where Atletico did take a shot, where he um, did not get the ball as it um, rebounded off the bar. So that's why I scored him a 9, because he is a um, good 90% of the time. But when that shot happened, he was, an, he was a 9. So communication. He was a 10 on this because he was talking to his players well and um, telling them about um, what to do for defending or where where tactical to be. So that's why it's going to turn. He doesn't have any areas of improvement, obviously, because it's a 10. His positioning, this is a 9 because um, when Atletico did take one shot, he was not in the right position where to save it because it would go straight into the goal if it didn't hit the bar. So that's why I scored him a 9. 90% um, of the time he is in the right position to um, catch the ball, so this is why he needs to improve on getting to the right position. As uh, This is because um, Barcelona may con concede a goal because of him. So um, Barcelona's overall strengths are that they are a good good team with lots of um, experience and lots of um, good attributes but the areas for improvement that they need obviously they're a world class team but they need to um, get their scores maybe up a bit because they're not up to scratch as they are as a player